Now, what was the year? Did you ever go to Tbilisi? I went to yeah, twice. I went 87 and 88. You won it in both times? I won in 88. Per- no, 88. I won okay. in 88. Dave Schultz won it in 87 in my weight class. I got fifth. Yeah. Wow. I got fifth. And you know, it was it was a great trip because, you know, you get 10, 12 matches in on that trip, on that tour. Because what we, it's changed now, but what we would do, we would go uh, a few days early before the tournament. We'd do dual meets. We have three dual meets with Russian teams um, uh, preceding the, 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 the Tbilisi tournament. So we'd have a dual meet. And, and all those guys were like top, top level Russians, right? And everybody was trying to make the, the, the team. And so you get you get the best guys trying to get their their name out there. They could beat an American, and they would have a good argument to be on that team. And so we'd have two dual, three dual meets, and then we go into the tournament. I remember my the year I won it, I had ten matches. I was ten and zero on the tour. Wow. Yeah, I was ten. I didn't let him lose on that tour. The year before that, I got beat by a couple guys that I beat the, the next year. Um, but the year eighty seven, I went. That really kind of changed my life and really helped me to understand how to be Russians, right? And really how to, um, how to train for them. And and that really, it helped me to close a lot of gaps. My, you go back and watch my matches from 1987 and then watch my matches in 1988, man, it's just two different people almost. I made, I made a huge, huge jump from 87 to 88. A lot of it was due to going to Russia and wrestling those matches and then uh, understanding um, how to train. You know, then of course the next year, I won it, and then Dave was on the tour, but he didn't wrestle. He just mm-hmm. kind of he just went. He just went to kind of you know be over there, and, and um, I don't know if he was just wanted to watch me or something because I was coming. I was starting to close the gap on him, right? And uh, so he went to, but but it was good for me because when he saw me win that tournament, his eyes were like, you know, oh shit, this kid, <laughs> this dude is <laughs> this dude is really coming. If he can win this time, he's really coming. So when you really said- kind of. You said when you went in '87 that it changed changed your life and changed your perspective. So was it the f- getting to wrestle and feel those guys was, or was it also yeah. looking at what life was like in the Soviet system during that time? Because a lot of people say it was pretty bleak back then. Absolutely, it was KGB, man. It was KGB, and I saw wrestlers never be the same after Tbilisi because the conditions were bad. You know, you couldn't eat after six, seven o'clock at night. You know, you couldn't drink the water really couldn't trust the water. So you had to, you know, we had to bring like our own little snacks, our own food, like granola bars and oatmeal, hot plates. And you would try to do as much as you can on your own to keep from eating their food. Right? Mm-hmm. Because and you couldn't trust it. Right. You couldn't trust some of the stuff. So yeah, it was, it was, it was a tough trip, man. It's a tough trip because it was cold. You know, the gyms were cold. Um, you know, I mean, you couldn't, you I never got warm until I was in the sauna. <laughs> like it's sleeping and you slept with your 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 uh sweats on you, you were cold when you wrestled and the only the only hot hot area was in the sauna so that's the only time you warmed up the cold the showers were cold now, it's, a, it's a it's a tough it was a tough trip it's a brutal trip um and then <clears throat> you're wrestling the best guys it's like now it was the soviet union and so um you didn't have all the, the you know the countries that were broken up, right? It was still Russia. Everybody's trying to make the, you know, the Soviet team. And so you would have to go through all those guys, you know, to, to get to the top. And I mean, I'd be a couple of world champions on my way through. So it was, it was a, it was a good tournament. Who was the, the big dog Russian at the time? Varayev or was Fedzayev? Both at your them. weight. But, but it was Varayev, you know, because Fedzayev was at 49.5. He's, he was at the weight class below me. So I never even wrestled him until he came up. But yeah, Varayev was the guy. Um, Gajikanov, Mega Man. That was, there was three or four. Zagudov. Zagudov was really tough. It was, it was, it was three or four. It was like really one or two points away from each other. On mm-hmm. any given day, either one of them could win. But Varayev was probably had the edge on, on, on those guys. He was, he was probably the best. But, but they would wrestle one, two point matches. He just came out on top of him, but yeah, that Zugudov was tough. I beat Zugudov in the in the '87 World no, it was '86 '87 World Cup. We had it was so funny. '87 World Cup was in Mongolia because they because it was in Ohio every year, 
right? The World Cup was in Ohio every year. How we doing? Um, that's Kennedy. You see my son, Kennedy? How you doing, Kennedy? What's up? <laughs> What's up? We're recording a podcast. Yeah, yeah he, he can't oh, yeah, yeah. Phone. yeah, yeah. But anyway, so we um, – the World Cup was in Mongolia one year. I think uh, uh, the, the director of the World Cup – because it was in Ohio every year. Um, and then he, I think he passed away. So they moved it that year to Mongolia. That's and, a rough uh, place. It was really so cold. It was probably the coldest place I've ever been in my life. <laughs> And I had Zagudov in the finals, and I beat him in the finals. And so that was the time I won the, the World Cup. But uh, And he was really – and then I beat him in the finals of Tbilisi. In 88. In the finals, in 88. So who did be- Dave beat when he won it in 87? He beat Mega Madoff. Mega Madoff, and I beat him. In 88, I beat him in the – it was in the, the semifinal. I had him in the semis. I beat him in the semis when I won it, and Dave beat him in the finals when he won it. Wow, that's cool. It was that... a tough move, though. It was, it was a tough move. It was a t- the move. <laughs> he had legs in it. He'd get like a, a full hat, a full Nelson on him, and then turn him and pin him. <laughs> it was a full yeah. Nelson. It was a legal move. <laughs> that had to hurt but... so bad to have Dave on top of you with oh, legs and wrenching. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he did it on He tried that on me in our finals trials match. But we caught it. We, were, we, were, we, were, we <laughs> caught it. We said, hey, 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 it's illegal. It's illegal. <laughs> but, yeah, no, our brave, Dave was. Uh, I've never felt pain from anyone in my life other than Dave Shaw. It's probably just like technique pain. Like he would he would put legs in on the turn or he would grab your arm and do a Kimura. He had some things that, that was really painful. And he yeah. and he liked it. <laughs> <laughs> he liked it. Now when you're going to an event like like the World Cup in Mongolia or you know, going to uh, Tbilisi in Georgia, are you cutting all the weight? Before you get on the plane, or are you getting on the plane knowing you got a battle of weight cut when you get there under not ideal circumstances? No, you got the weight's got to be under control when you get on the plane. You know, um, of course, you know some guys would. You know, we, you know, at that at that time, I I could lose you know seven eight pounds in in an hour. Um, so just water weight, but no weight's got to be under control if you hit those because you just never know. One, you never know the conditions. You never know if it's going to be a sauna. You never know if the room's going to be hot. You know, so you just never know about those those um, conditions before you go. So you got to be, you know, on weight or close to weight, or you're not going to have a good performance. Right? You just can't depend on it. Right? So you you got to be, um, you know, got to have the weight under control. Wow, for sure. Yeah, that, that makes I've sense. had some. I've, and I've had a couple. Yeah, and I've had a couple. Now I can't say I was perfect at it. Right? I've had a couple situations where I, you know. I, I was too heavy getting there, you know, but it worked out because that's always like after the holidays too, right? Because January <laughs> is a time you, when you, it's when you normally you're wrestling overseas. It's the first part of January. That's right after Christmas and their whole thing, New Year's. And so it's not a good time, but uh, it's experience. So, you know, the first year I went to Tbilisi, that's what I'm saying. I, I learned a lot. I learned about, I learned what to expect. I learned what to expect. I knew what, I knew the conditions were going to be good. I knew it was going to be cold. Um, I know, I knew, you know, my warm ups had to be good, you know, getting ready. So it just, it was just experience to get ready for the next Would year. Would you say that tournament had a bigger impact on you or the NCAA tournament as a freshman was a bigger turning point for you? Tbilisi. 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 Yeah. And they both, they both were, but Tbilisi was, um, yeah, Tbilisi was probably the bigger one just because the stakes, the stakes were bigger. Um, and, you know, it wasn't so much the, the, the wrestling part of the NCAAs. That was more of maturity. And just, I was a kid. I just didn't, you know, I, didn't, I wasn't ready. Um, I was cutting too much weight. Uh, and I got bigger. That story, I, that's a whole different story. Let's hear it. I got bigger. Well, my freshman year, I go in um, wrestling 142. I showed up on campus, went about 150, 151. And, but every year after my... In, in my, I went my high school career. I wrestled 108 my freshman year, 108 my freshman year. My sophomore year, I was up to 123. My, my junior year, I was up to 136. My senior year, I was up to 148. And so I grew 10 pounds. Every year after the state tournament, I get a, a 10 pound bump. And the state tournament is in February, right? And so the next year, I'm wrestling 142 and, and cutting pretty good weight. Uh, get to the tournament in March. 
And I, well, actually in February, I got bigger and, and I, I went to school. I was, my shoe size was eight when I went to, when I went to college. February, I was wearing a nine. I couldn't wear the, my, <laughs> all of a sudden my, my shoes were tight. I'm like, damn, all my shoes are tight. I couldn't figure it out. Like, dang, these shoes are too small. So I had to get a bigger size. And so I was wearing a nine come, come March, right? And so Chesbro was like, Kenny, what are you doing? I'm like, I'm coach, I'm not doing anything. I just, I just grew 10 pounds. And then, so the weight cut was really tough, and I, and I just didn't, I didn't recover in that, in that match. I was seated fourth going in as a, as a freshman. Um, I had a pretty good record my freshman year. I only lost four times. And I ended up losing the quarterfinals, 12 to a crazy match. It was like 13 or 11. And then I, I lost in the blood round, you know, or the next round and went out. So it was, uh, sorry, it was, so that was just a tough, but that was, that was just maturity. The 87, that Russian tour was more, that was more um, technical uh, training habits, um, those kind of things. You know, I knew my training changed. Uh, you know, the, the things I worked on changed, my studying changed, uh, my lifting changed, you know, so things changed just as far as just uh, getting getting better as a wrestler. How did the training change? Like in terms of like, you're not running as much, you're working on this more, or was it more like very technical stuff? More technical stuff, more freestyle, more freestyle, freestyle positions, not giving up, giving up, you know, my, my hand fight, not giving up, uh, you know, I mean, they were big at, you know, two on ones and um, front head locks and that kind of thing. And just, just, yeah, this technical stuff, but my finishes, you know, getting to my finishes, not getting cross lift, not getting taken through that kind of thing. So I, I didn't, I never wrestled freestyle through college. I never wrestled freestyle in the summertime. I think only my freshman year I did. I think I tried to make the junior world. I made the junior world team. I didn't go, but I made the team. Um, but I would just work. I would just work in the summers um, and just work out folk style. I never wrestled freestyle. So when I finished college in 84, that was a big gap in my, in my freestyle wrestling. There was a big gap that I had to close. And then so, you know, my track started from after 84, 85, 86, 87. That's when I developed and and I really didn't hit hit my peak until I got to eighty eight <laughs> until January of eighty eight after that Tbilisi. When I came back from Tbilisi, I was confident that I could I could win. 